Good day, it is Stephen Dayusia. In this video, I just want to address uh, some confusion that I experienced regarding uh, the upload of uh, my book to Kindle uh, Direct Publishing. We are so used to when people say you can upload a file, you just uh, go to the application and then search on your computer for the Word or the PDF file or the picture file and you click on it and it uploads. It's not that simple with uh, Kindle Direct. If you did create your book in Word or PDF, you can't upload it directly from it into Kindle Direct. If you want to upload your PDF book or Word book onto Amazon Kindle, you first have to download their program, uh, Kindle Creator. Kindle Creator. In this case, I've got Kids Books Creator. I assume the uh, adult Kindle Creator is the same or less. Uh, yeah, the uh, Kindle Creator Kids Books keep also the pictures, everything in place. But the fact of the matter, you first have to download the Kindle Creator program and install it on your computer. Then what you do is you follow uh, the steps. File, new book, and then you continue. Uh, fill this in. This uh, many I just make it quickly because uh, I just want. That's not my focus here. Uh, language of the book. This, if your language is not supported, do not worry because you ultimately uh, upload your book on Amazon Kindle, and there you will find your language may be supported. So don't worry too much about this. Then you browse and get a. Uh, a folder that must be empty. The folder must be empty. In my case, I created a folder. Uh, Kindle, Kindle test, this must be older. Select folder. And if you select the folder, then you continue. You select uh, the uh, format, etc. This is uh, is a lot of uh, information on this, so I don't want to um, pay attention too much to this. Then you continue, and here, yeah, when you have import your entire book from a PDF, that is good. So if you have your book in a Word format or whatever, I do Libra, I use LibreOffice, and then you just convert it to PDF, and then you see here, uh, import your entire book, including the cover. It will automatically uh, cut off the cover. But uh, the first page of the PDF will be your book cover. This also proves that you can upload a PDF. You uh, People say you can't upload a PDF, but you can upload a, a book. And then you just say create from PDF. Look for your book there that you have. Give it time and it will then convert your book into the Kindle book format. It, the typing may not appear so well. Do not worry about how this looks. This is a draft look and uh, you will be able to see the final look when you have the preview. You can save this file in the uh, Kindle Creator uh, format if you want to work on this further or you, in this case, uh, because I want to show you how to upload it, save for publishing and it will create a Mobi file. And it is this Mobi file then that is being created that you upload onto Amazon. I'll close it now. You will see here is the Mobi file created and it is this Mobi file that you upload onto Amazon Kindle Direct. You go then to the Kindle Publishing, Kindle ebook, and you've completed these in. This is not necessarily the focus of this. All I just want to show you and point it out here, the language, support language. Yes, are many languages that is not necessarily in Kindle uh, creator. So in our, my case, it was Afrikaans. Afrikaans is supported here. Afrikaans was not supported in the creator. And then what you then simply do is complete everything and then you just uh, 
Pause keywords, categories, minimum select pre-order, and then uh, in the next step, you simply upload your Mobi file. And that is then the way you continue. Remember, you cannot directly upload the Word file. You must first convert it to PDF, then download Creator, and in Creator, Kindle Creator, you then it creates a mobile file and the mobile file you upload onto Kindle Direct Publishing. Thank you very much for watching this video. We love constructive comments and criticism. Please like and share this video.